This video is going to cover adding a online user account to the home page. This is just a good way to show the activity in your application sort of as like a proof or like a social proof of, of concept. Uh, same reason why you add like a feed of recent messages to the chat rooms is just a way to sort of encourage people to actually use the application. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to really quickly add a little counter below the turbo chat, I guess, where we can say like there's, I don't know, 13 users on. So this is going to be based on previous logic that we did if I click on start chatting uh, for the online offline user stuff. So basically, I'm going to run through what the workflow was to get these statuses working. Uh, we have a action cable chat application here that uses turbo, but the actual online statuses run through action cable. And the way we do it is we have a JavaScript channel with an appearance channel. Let me press F11 to full screen this control B to hide the side panel real quick. Uh, we have two little variables up here. And then we have a uh, subscription that we set up and all we're doing is we're setting up the listeners that then check uh for various occurrences. We might disconnect, we might be rejected. If like the service goes down, we might receive data. We're not really receiving data here, but you get the idea. And then we have a couple different things here like uh, online, away, and offline. And all these do is call this.perform. And we'll talk about what the perform does in a second. We also have the install, which adds all of our event listeners. This is a very basic low level JavaScript here, stuff that you should probably be familiar with just because it's pretty, pretty common use in JavaScript. Uh, and then we have our timer down here, which is just calculating how long you should wait before you mark the user as away. As you can see here, it's calling this dot away. And if we scroll up here, when it calls this dot away or this dot online or this dot offline, it calls the this dot perform. And if we come up to the Explorer and we come up to the, I think it's in channels appearance channel, and here you can see that we're streaming from the appearance channel. If I double click this and come back to the JavaScript, you can see up here that it creates a uh, subscription for the consumer called the appearance channel. And then whenever it receives data from the appearance channel, like when it calls, uh, you know, this dot perform online, it's saying run this def online method or away or offline. And all those are doing is just grabbing a status from the user enum. This could just as easily be a string that says online. And then it's pushing it to broadcast new user status, which is just a helper method down here that calls user.update. And then it sets the status to be that string of online, offline, or away. And then we read that in our HTML and it just sets the status with a uh, broadcast turbo stream from or whatever. But that logic happens in the user model. And if we full screen this and scroll down, you can see here we set the status based on whatever the string is. And then we set the CSS class, which is what changes the uh, color of the little icon. And yeah, so that's the basic idea right here. We have the broadcast, which is just broadcasting to the turbo stuff. So that's how we're handling the statuses. Now what that allows us to do is query against them. If we open up a rails console here, rails C, we can type user dot first dot status to see that the first user is currently offline and now the user is online. So that's just based on the fact that I'm like navigating away from the page. I'm, I'm stopping the server, starting the server and stuff like that. So it's just handling all of that information for us to make sure that when we restart the server, if someone navigated away, uh, they're automatically set to offline by default until they refresh the page, at which point their status then becomes online again. So we have all that logic. And what that means is here on the home page, we can query for online users. Now, if you're interested in implementing this real quick, I'll just cover this. You can go to Google. You can search for the Rails Edge Guide for the Appearance Channel. That should take you to the Action Cable page. And then on the Action Cable page, you have the appearance channel under the full stack examples, which is this one right here for 6.1, which is pretty much what we have implemented, uh, just a little bit different because I think here they're actually using some turbo links events, but you get the idea. So let's add this online counter. And the reason why I covered that is just in case, you know, you're implementing this in a different application. Sometimes it's kind of a pain to, to catch up with a 20 part series. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to come into the views and the pages and the home page. And this part's going to be pretty quick. We can underneath the H1, just do a P tag and say there are zero users online. And then we can close the P tag and we can come over here and refresh. And we now have that. What I like to do, I'm going to hit control B to hide the side panel is I'd like to wrap the users online in a strong tag zero users and then close the strong tag just to add a little bit of emphasis there. So now what we can do is we can grab this from the controller. So we'll open up the sidebar again, go down to controller and the pages controller again, control B to hide that F11 to full screen. And then in the home action, we'll just real quick say at online underscore users is equal to user dot where the status is equal to the capital U user dot statuses and then online. So this is coming from our user dot RB model where we have the status enum right here and we're just checking for if the user's online. And I realize there's an issue with that, but we'll talk about that in a second here. So what this allows us to do if we come over to the home page is we can replace the zero users with the at online underscore users, I think is what we called it. And we can then refresh and then we'll see we have this random string here. So what we want to do in the controller is at the end of this, we want to call dot count, which will just give us the number of online users. So now we can see there are zero online. So we have to come back to the home page and then say users. We can then refresh. There are zero users online, but we want to do a little bit better. So what we can do is we can pluralize this. So say pluralize, I'm going to hit F11 again the at online user, and then we'll just put the singular user in there. And then we can get rid of this and just leave it in this little bit of strong tag right there. And now it'll also say zero users online. I'm gonna right click start chatting to open this up in a new tab, drag it down here, refresh both pages real quick. And you can see before this gets updated, uh, it, uh, it sets it to one user online. I'm now technically offline again, but uh, because this isn't live updating, which is a good thing because that would be a lot of hits to the home page for no reason. Um, but in that snapshot where it grabbed it from the database, there was one user online. If I refresh, it goes back to zero users uh, and pluralizes appropriately. But now the question is, if I'm sitting here and I went to go get a coffee or something, it's going to set me to away. How do you do a uh, counter that includes the away status? And then what happens if you, later on you add like a do not disturb status as well? Well, what we can do in the pages controller is where we say user dot where we can actually do user dot where dot not, and then we can do offline and we can just check if the user not, uh, if the users that are not offline, like what their count is. And this is actually pretty simple because now we don't even have to update anything. You can see here there are one users uh, or there's one user online here. And the reason it, oh, sh I just messed it up uh, was because John was over here and he was away. So that was why we had a user online there. But you can see now that John's clicked away, I'm now back to saying zero users online. And if I refresh John's page, it'll also say that. So that's sort of how you can do this online counter uh, that also tracks your other statuses. It's also a really interesting way to, I guess, learn about the not operator for your where queries, which is something that's not really talked about in tutorials, but you know, it's, it's the small things that add up when you learn about these that, that give you the, uh, the sense that you know what you're doing with Rails. I still don't, but hopefully you at least know what you're doing by this point. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this short little tutorial. Hopefully this was helpful uh, and I will see you in the next video.